guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i have another sephora haul to share with you guys i recently went into my sephora and saw jc pennies again just to see if they had any more items that were in that clearance section that were 40 percent off much to my surprise i get in there and they were 50 percent off and i was like oh my goodness hold me back because i need to buy some of this stuff no i'm just kidding but no, I was really excited to see that they were discounted that much because these items are already on sale and then they discounted them again by 50%. So I got a really good deal on these items. So I wanted to show you guys just in case you had a Sephora inside JCPenney near you because the sale evidently is still going on. So go inside your Sephora inside JCPenney's and see what kind of sale items you can find. These are the sale items I found and everything in here, like I said, was on sale with an additional 50% off. So let's get started. So the first thing I found was this right here. This is the Sephora Rouge Volupt little set. This is the cream lip stain set. So you get a four piece set here and it was on sale for $6. $6. I was going to say $60. And then it was half off of that. So it was $3. So I've got, I paid $3 for these. They are small sizes, but these are very good. I've tried a couple of the different shades from like my Sephora Play and I really do enjoy those. I think I got a red, maybe it was both reds both times. But either way, I know they stay on your lips very well. There's a purple, a dark pink, a light pink, and then like a tan color. I probably won't use the tan color, but for $3, how can you beat that? <clears throat> the next thing is this right here. This is the Clinique Pep Start. It's the it's suggested retail is $18.50. This is the Pout Perfecting Balm and then the Pout Restoring Night, My, Night Mask. So you get two different products inside of here and it was suggested at $18.50. Then it was on sale for $9, so I paid $4.50 for it. So I think that's a fantastic value for it. I like Clinique. I think Clinique has really good skincare products. So lip care, I'm sure, is going to be just as good. I haven't tried that before, though, so I can't really say much about it. <clears throat> the next thing is this right here. This is the Stila One Step Prime Prep Smooths and Nourishes Your Skin. So it comes in this little package right here. It says the reduced price is $18. I think the normal price for these is like in the $30 range. So let me pull this out. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the one step. It says it preps, smooths, and nourishes. So it's just the white primer. So I'm hoping that it's good for dry skin. The girl at the at the counter said it was. So we'll have to see. I'm not real sure. I'll have to try it out. But that's what it looks like. And so for $9, I thought that was a fantastic value again. All these are fantastic values. I don't have to keep repeating them. I'm sure you probably know these are great deals. The next thing is something from Kat Von D. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner Lip Liner Trio. So you get three different shades in here. You get Lolita, Hawkind, and Homegirl. So the Lolita is a chestnut rose, Hawkind is a nude sienna, and then Homegirl is a blackberry shade. And these were $19, so it was $9.50 for her three Kat Von D lip liners. Again, great deal. The next thing is another Kat Von D product. This is the Kat Von D Rock Candy. These are the mini studded lip, mini studded kiss lipstick set. So you got some really interesting colors in here. So they're colors probably I won't use a whole lot, but you can layer them up with other colors. So the reduced price on this was $30. So I got this for $15, so $15. These are not full sizes. So they're like deluxe sizes, I think. So let's pull one out and we'll try it out here. Hopefully these weren't used because it looks like there's some lipstick. Up. No, they're not used. So there's this bright pink one right here, and this is in the shade Ziggy. So here's Ziggy. I'll swatch it for you. Oh, wow. Look, that's like a Barbie pink. That'll be perfect for the summer. It's like a really pretty hot pink summer color. Then the next shade, let me get them all out here. Probably be easier if I just took them all out first, but I can't get them all out at one time. The next shade is Babe, and this one is another pinky shade. Let's see if the pinks compare. Like this one's more of like a... I don't know, like a rose pink. So there's that one swatched right here. They look very similar, but not exactly the same. So you guys that are makeup lovers, you know you can justify different colors that are very similar, but not the same, right? The next one is another pinky shade, but this is more of like a pinky purple. I can tell that already off the bat by just looking at the container here because the container does match the lipstick. And again, here's the lipstick. These are, like I said, not full sizes, so they're smaller. Oh, I really like that shade right there. That's pretty. So that'll be a beautiful shade for the summer as well. These are so cute. I think they're just adorable. Then we have three more in here. Let's see if I can get them all out now. Yes, I got them all out now. So we have this shade right here that's like a gray shade, and it's the shade Zero. Zero always reminds me of anything that's named Zero reminds me of that show or the movie Holes. Do you guys ever see that movie? That's what it always reminds me of. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure that I'll ever be able to wear that shade. But there's what it looks like. There's zero. It could probably work as like a layering color, but probably not by itself. But 
that's just me. I'm sure that you can work it. The next one is a very deep purple. It reminds me of like blueberry, not blueberries, but like grapes. And this one is in the shade Roxy. So Roxy is a very deep purple. I think I have an Urban Decay shade kind of like that, or I had one uh, from the Alice in Wonderland collection. So there's that shade. It's really pretty. Let me smell it. I don't really smell anything. They smell a little bit sweet, but nothing like dramatic. And then the last one in there is the shade Ozzy. And Ozzy is just a regular purple. And a Ooh, that one's actually really pretty. I'm actually quite surprised. Ooh, I got that too far out. I'll break the stick if I try to swatch it that way. So there is Ozzy. So there's what they all look like in this set right here. For $15, I feel like that was well worth it because you're getting... Ooh, I thought I just broke it. Because you're getting six different ones, so they're less than $2 a piece. So no, wait, no. <laughs> That's right around $3, something like that. I don't know. I can't do math in my head, so... Anyway, that's, I thought it was a fantastic value. The next thing, I got some more Urban Decay lipsticks because they had some more in here that I thought were pretty shades. So these, again, were marked down to $8.50, so it was half off of that. So it's $4.25 for an Urban Decay lipstick. I was like, um, yes, I'll take all the colors that I like. So I got the shade PDA, which is a cream shade. So here's PDA, and I'll swatch it for you. So I'm going to swatch. Maybe we'll get a little cloth here, see if we can find a cloth to clean my hand off. Otherwise, we're going to have swatches on top of swatches. Let's see. Do we have a cloth? Here we go. We'll just use this. This is a little cleansing thing from Olay. We're just going to use that for now. All right. Need some room here. Need some retail space. Okay, so this again is PDA and it's a cream. Uh-oh. It's not twisting up. What in the world? Oh, there it goes. It was like... Uh-oh, it's still not twisting up. Uh-oh. Uh, I think this one might be broken, guys. It's not twisting up at all. What in the world's wrong with it? Well, that one may have to go back. We may have to take that one back and see if they have another one to replace that one. It's not twisting up or anything. So that was PDA, but we can't we can't even swatch it. Then we have Cruise. Cruise is a purple shade. And let's see if Cruise twists up. Uh, hopefully it does. Hopefully not all these are broken. That would be really crappy. Okay, Cruise twists up. There's Cruise. Actually, I would wear that color, honestly. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Kat Von D one, but just a little bit more gray tone to it. Then we have the shade Phone Call, and this is the sheer, so Phone Call is a bright pink. These all these bright colors. I better be wearing lots of brights this summer because I've got tons of them now. Oof, that's really bright. Phone Call. Oh, it's a cream, though, so it's, it kind of mutes itself out because it's not a, like a full-on opaque lipstick. So there is Phone Call. These are, that one's really, really creamy too. When I put it on my hand, it was super creamy. Then we have the shade Sheer F-Bomb. And Sheer F-Bomb is like a red tone. So this I thought would be great for like 4th of July. So 4th of July, I know we're planning to be at like a beachy area. So I'm sure I can rock this at the beach. That is definitely a red. It's like a blue toned red. So, and it's a cream. So there's what it looks like. It looks more like a pink. It doesn't look like a true red. Hopefully it doesn't get all over my teeth. I end up having red teeth. Looking like a vampire. Okay, so that one I may have to return or ask them if they can fix it or something from the PDA. Then, I'll set this to the side. She gave me some goodies. Um, the next thing I picked up, let me stick everything on my lap here. I'm trying to make it a little bit easier so it's not so noisy because I think these bags can become obnoxiously noisy. All right, I've got it all on my lap now. The next thing are some Stila things. Actually, no, let's go one more Kat Von D thing. Is that the only Kat Von D thing I have left? Yes. Another Kat Von D little metal crush eyeshadow. And these were on sale for $10.50, so I got it for $5.25. And this one is in the shade Electric Warrior. So it's a very bright, like, yellow green. Like a, almost like a lime green, lime yellow. I have no idea, but see it there? It's really pretty. Let's swatch it. It looks very powdery when I swatch it. Hopefully it doesn't come off there. No, it's really pretty on. So there's what it looks like. Again, a perfect summer bright pop of color. Now let's swatch all these off. We'll wipe, wipe, wipe. Just in case I need to swatch anything else. The next thing I picked up, like I said, were a bunch of Stila products. So I picked up the Stila Smudge Tick Waterproof Eyeliners. So we have one, two, let's see how many did I get of those, three. Smudge stick, waterproof eyeliner, four. And it's a lipstick and eyeliner. So I picked up five different ones. And then, so they're all different shades here. 
we've got alpine bluefin moray turquoise and blue and purple tang so let's i'll go ahead and swatch them all for you so you can see what they look like this is bluefin and these were 11 dollars, so they were five dollars and 50 cent for an eyeliner i thought it was a great deal for steela because steela is a little bit pricey as well so this is bluefin so it's just a typical like a navy blue so i'll swatch that oh it's got some sparkle into it though i don't know if you can see it or not but it's got sparkle in it so that's really pretty I like different color eyeliners to like use in the waterline. <clears throat> then we have turquoise and the only reason I got this because I thought it would go really good with my Natasha Denona Tropic palette. So here's the turquoise. Kind of looks like a Tiffany shade too. Tiffany blue. Oh look at that. That one's super pigmented. Very creamy. And then we got Alpine which is a white. Which white usually looks good in like your waterline if you want to put a little bit of white in your waterline. So white one right here. This is Alpine very creamy very opaque so these all look really nice and i like that they're just like the twist up you don't have to sharpen them i hate the sharpening type because i always make a huge mess with them the next one is purple tang and purple tang is just like a very dark like almost eggplant purple that has sparkle in it as well so here's a little bit of sparkle in that one so i can't wait to try all these different eyeliners then we have moray moray is like a green almost like an army green but it has a little bit of black mixed into it it looks like so here's what it looks like there's the color do you see what i mean it's look it's a very interesting color uh oh this one's not gonna twist up what the heck i got two products out of my set here that won't twist up um well let's see if i can swatch it anyway so there's what it looks like swatched but it's not twisting up anymore so i'll have to see what we can do about that one see if they can replace it or fix it or something so there's all the eyeliners that i got that's all of those and then i also got hang on one second i dropped one thing oh what is this oh here's another smudge stick eyeliner so this one is in black amethyst i thought there were six of them so this is black amethyst let's see if this one swap like goes up this one's like a purple shade as well and it's twisting it's twisting up okay i was like oh no so this is like a deep purple as well but this one's more it doesn't have any shimmer to it it's just a regular like flat sh flat shade like a matte shade then i picked up one of the steel stay all day stay all day liquid lipsticks in the shade perla and these were 11 dollars. so again they were five dollars and 50 cents so here's what the shade looks like it's a really pretty color so i'll swatch that for you oh it smells so good it smells very creamy so there's what the shade looks like. That is a really pretty shade. Look at that. Looks like a nude, very pinky nude shade. Then we have, what else did I get here? It looks like I got another one, but I'm missing the box to it. So I must've either tossed the box or something. This was in the shade. Oh no, she gave me this one. She gave me this one. This was a sample. She gave me the Baki one. So that's why it doesn't have a box. She gave me that as a sample. So here's Baki. It's very close to the one that I purchased. Very close to the same shade. And then we have the Stila Color Bomb Lipstick in the shade Aubrey. So these are color bombs. I've never tried these before, so I don't know if they're good on your lips or not, but they looked pretty. So here's the outer packaging to them. I think the packaging itself is really pretty. And then here's what the shade looks like. It's a really, um, like a mulberry shade. So here's what it looks like. Oh, they smell very minty. Mmm, they smell good. It smells like, like Wrigley's, the double mint gum. Then we have the shade Vivian. So here's another one of these. And these again were $11, so they were $5.50. So here's Vivian. Vivian reminds me of Pretty Woman. Isn't that her name in the in the TV or in the movie? Vivian? Wasn't her name Vivian? I'm swatching this in a really weird place, but that's alright. Here's what it looks like. That's a pretty color. And again, it has that minty scent to it, so I like the scent. Then I also picked up the shade Sadie. And Sadie reminds me of Sadie XO here on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. She's such a cute YouTuber. Again, the packaging is really cute. And here is Sadie. So I'll swatch that right above this one over here. So there is Sadie. Sadie's like a peachy color almost. All right. So that's all of those. They feel very creamy on the hand. So hopefully they're nice and creamy and luxurious on the lips. Then I got the, oh, she gave me a sample of the Anastasia Clear Bla clear Brow Gel. She gave me a sample of that to try out, which I've already tried it before. I know I love it. Then the next thing I purchased is the Stila Stay All Day Magnificent Lipstick. 
So I don't think I've ever tried this before and I got it in the shade from Bo from Boys from Bose. And this is the last thing I purchased. The last thing over here is something that she actually gave me as a sample. So here's what the packaging to this one looks like. It's got this little swirly going around the bottom of it. So from actually that's the top, not the bottom. I lied. Okay, where can I put this? <laughs> I'm gonna have to put it in between. So here it is right here. That's the shade right here. So all of these different colors of things I got, all of this was right around a hundred bucks that I paid for everything. So as you guys know, if you were to purchase these at normal price, it would have been way more than a hundred dollars. I think total, I think I saved like 300 and some dollars is what she told me. I was like, holy smokes, that's crazy. So yes, they were all on sale and then 50% off. So if you have a Sephora inside JCPenney's near you, I highly recommend that you go check out their clearance section because like I said, they had 40% off the first weekend I went in and picked up a bunch of things and now it's 50% off. I don't know if they're going to continue to mark down. I'm not sure, but I know it's 50% off right now at the Sephora near me. And then she gave me this goodie bag right here that I'm going to use for my sample Sunday series. She gave me this for purchasing items in the store. So if you ask them for samples, they'll give you some samples. So I always ask them, like, do you have any samples? So she gave me the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. So here's this one. And then there's a ton of other things in here. We have, oh, wow, there's actual, there's a little um, blush in here. And the, and the one in the shade Parte, the one that was like the birthday gift from last year. So she gave me that. I really like that shade too, so I'm actually happy to have a backup of that. Then we have the Sephora Collection Uncomplicated Little Lip Creams, little sample. These will be perfect for my Sample Sunday series. Then we have the Josie Moran Detoxify Your Skin, the Whipped Mud Mask, and it's got Vanilla Apricot and Unscented. So here's two little samples from Josie Moran. Then we also have a Makeup Forever little sample. I've already tried this before, so I'll probably throw this into for giveaway for, I always do like a little sample bag giveaway for my Sample Sunday series. Then we have the Bare Minerals Prep Step. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's the Mineral Shield Daily Prep Lotion. So here's a little prep lotion from Bare Minerals. And then we have the uh, Bumble and Bubble Hairdressers, Invis Hairdressers Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. So a conditioner and shampoo sample. Oh, we got lots more here. Oh my goodness. She's got to give me a lot of samples in here. I didn't realize there were that many. And then we have the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I've already tried this before, so this will be another one that I throw for a giveaway. Oops, I'm dropping everything everywhere. Then we have the Clean, clean Warm Cotton Perfume. So that's another one that I've already tested before, so it'll be used for giveaway. Then we have the Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. I'm not sure if I've tried this or not. I'll have to think back on that one. Then we have the Murad Essential, Day, Essential Sea Day Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I love the Murad skincare line, so hopefully that'll be a good one. Then we have the Ola Hendrickson Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. Then we have the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. I love their Argan Oil. It's really good for dry skin. Then we have the Sephora, uh, what is this? I have no idea. Perfecting Ultra Smoothing Primer. This reminds me of like the um, one from Becca and then also from... Kat Von D and also what's the other one? Marc Jacobs. It reminds me of that the way it looks so maybe it might be similar. Then we have the Glam Glow Super Cleanse. This is the light cleanser. I've already tried this before. This will be actually put into a giveaway as well because anything that I've tried before I don't need to test it again to see if I like it until I let you guys know about it. I've just thrown it in for a giveaway. Anyway that is everything that I picked up in all my little samples that she threw in my bag which I'm so appreciative of. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you've gone into the Sephora sale, if you picked up anything really cool. I know it's Kat Von D has a lot of shadows still left in my Sephora, but I've picked up most of the colors that I wanted to get. And then Stila has like a whole section. They even have foundation and everything that's on sale, but I already have the foundation and I, it's okay for me. It's not great for my dry skin. So I didn't need to get another one of those, but they have all kinds of things. I highly recommend if you have a Sephora inside JCPenney's, go in and check it out. And if you've already checked it out, let me know. What did you score? Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, yeah.